believe that God put me on this earth and gave me a gift to be able to speak for people. I have a rare ability to articulate myself in a way where people can listen and enjoy it. So I feel like, you know, with all the blessings that I have, I, I live a comfortable life and I'm, and I'm continuing to grow and I'm, I'm pretty much able to do whatever I wanna do, you know, my job is amazing, I'm, I'm happy every day. I feel like because I was blessed with that, I do have a responsibility in my music to say things that matter. I don't think that I'm here to just capitalize off of this and just be happy and, and, and not really be able to give back somehow, you know? My name IDK stands for Ignorantly Delivering Knowledge. The only way people will listen, you know? It's like, I can't have that type of name and just make music just to make money, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, I definitely believe like I have some type of responsibility now there are a lot of artists that don't know how to articulate some of these things and are popular. And, and, um, and I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that they're wrong, you know? They can do whatever they choose to do. I just know for me, I do believe that I have some type of responsibility, for sure. So I guess in keeping with that sort of feeling that you have, um, what, what kinds of artists influence you and, and what artists are, are doing that kind of thing that you wanna evoke? There's so many artists that I like, man. And it's funny because I really don't listen to rap like that. Uh, sometimes I do, even though I rap. I, I just, it's not too much that really inspires me in there, you know? But I obviously like the obvious, like Kendrick Lamar, you know, the J. Coles, Drake's. A lot of people don't like Drake. I think Drake is a genius. Um, um, who else? I, outside of rap, I love, I love Hiatus Coyote. Like, that's like, She's fine. My favorite. Like I love, I love them. I, like yeah, um, I like Fella Cootie. Like I, 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 you know, I've been digging into a lot of that. And because of Fella, obviously by default, I, I really fuck with Burner Boy. You know, um, I like Tyler. Um, probably my favorite. I think the the greatest artist of this generation to me is Frank Ocean. I like Frank Ocean. <laughs> a lot. Um, this, I mean, there's so many different things. I've been listening to a lot of bossa nova music. Uh, you know, it's just it's just so much different stuff that I like. You know, but that's a few for sure. So I guess to hop on that question, if you yeah. could collab with any artist or any artists plural, who would it be? Yeah, man. <laughs> I just. Damn, I don't want to give too much information. Let's say I want to work with the Gorillas. I like the Gorillas a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like one of my favorite bands of all time for sure. Yeah. So speaking about collaborations, uh, you opened up for Isaiah Rashad. Yeah. Uh, in 2017 on his tour. Yeah. What was that like? What's he like? What's the experience like opening up for an artist? And Zay, Zay is a. Uh, that's like one of my really close friends in this rap game. You know, um, opening up for him, honestly, I probably got the most fans out of any tour that I've ever done from that tour. It was like probably the perfect combination, you know, and um, even now we're still talking about doing more stuff. So, you know, stay tuned for that. I don't know where that'll go for sure, but you know, that that's like, like he's, a, he's, he's one of those people that regardless of music or anything, I would always still be cool with him. You know what I mean? He's just a good dude that I, you know, I really respect how he moves. So yeah, I mean, in terms of opening up for an artist, was there ever any difficulties that you faced, like showing up to an audience that maybe wasn't there for you or wasn't there? To, to Man, it's funny. You? Isaiah Rashad's tour, we were in Miami, and um, I had we'd done like a few shows already, but for some reason, this Miami crowd was not trying to move. They were like not showing me love, but. The most important thing when you do, especially rap music and perform, is uh, having confidence. So no matter what, like I knew that I was good. I know that they're not moving because I'm not good. It's because probably they don't know who I am and they're waiting for Zay. So I stopped the whole show. I, I spit an acapella. I put my heart into it and I let them know like, yo, yeah, y'all gonna fuck with me. And, I, and then I did another song and that next song, 
they broke the whole barrier. Like it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, like the whole barrier broke. And um, I'll always remember that show because I remember I, I, I use I use that as an example. Every time I do a show where I'm opening up and they may not know me, it's about just going in there with that confidence. And also being good. Like you gotta be good too. You <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but being good and having that confidence is where 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 you uh win with that type of situation. Yeah. So uh, one of my favorite tracks on the album is December. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of sampling. I think it's definitely had a huge resurgence in the past year or so. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's that process like for you to identify a song that you want to incorporate? I know that there's yeah. some Jasmine Sullivan samples. There's some Little Wayne samples, Murder, She yeah. Wrote. Mm -hmm. um, the way I look at samples, it's almost like a cheat code a little bit because it's like you take someone's composition and you manipulate it and then use, you know, whatever you do, do whatever you do to it and then make music with it and use it again. A lot of the time, what separates music genres is the way the drums are structured. So good music is good music, but some people might prefer rap music to uh, rock because of the way it just feels and the way they, you know, the, the um, drums move or whatever, you know what I mean? When you sample, even if it's from a rock song or whatever, if it's like a classic song that's proven to have worked, it's like kind of like using the same instruments in a sense and just changing the drums around and doing something, you know? I, I love sampling. I'm trying not to do it too much because it's expensive, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But every now and then it's like you'll get something and you just kind of just got to let the music speak and don't worry about all of that, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So as a rapper on the rise, and as someone who has spoken a, a, a lot about your very particular like identity and yeah. position, uh -huh. have you found struggles with sort of balancing the industry versus your artistry and the, the pressures to maybe create a commercial album versus what you actually want to do? I think every artist that is trying to be a quote unquote superstar is always, whether they say it or not, is always going to struggle with that to some extent. Um, I'm in a place in my life right now where, again, you know, I'm pretty comfortable and I'm only growing, you know, um, the music is what I focus on, making sure that it's better. And usually that kind of dictates um, where I go on the next album. And, and again, it's just been going up. So I, I like to understand what's going on. And then I like to put my twist on whatever that is. And then I like to end with saying something or putting something in it or having a message behind it that matters. At the end of the day, I look at it like this. If I can get more people to pay attention to my music, I have more people that can hear something that they may need to hear. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like to be out of touch with what's quote unquote popular, but I really don't like pop like music. Like I don't like too commercial, bubbly feeling. I, I'm not into that, you know what I'm saying? So to an extent, I'll never really be like that, but I do understand like, you know, sometimes man, like a trap beat in the club, that's what you want to hear. You don't want to hear like some super conscious rapping, rapping, like, you know, sometimes I learned like recently, probably in the past two years, I don't really rap. I mean, sometimes I'll rap fast, but I, I really don't like to do that. Like I can. But I like to slow it down. I like to say things that people can repeat. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like, I like having quotables. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like can be considered commercial to an extent. But I think I do it in a way where it's balanced and it's not. Um, it doesn't seem like I'm um, compromising the art at all. And I think that's what it boils down to: not being compromising to what really matters. Yeah.